So the response I got about adding handlebars, I don't think was the response quite what you wanted because I think you're thinking of Illustrator and like when Illustrator has one handlebar coming out of an anchor point, you can add another one by going to like that little carrot looking tool or you can delete a handlebar instead of there being two. You can, you can control the handlebars. Um, a closed response was that oh, if you have a straight line, you hit the letter C. It's a keyboard shortcut for the edit curvature tool. If you pull out a curve from straight line, then it automatically adds handlebars apparently. So now I'm gonna hit the letter Z to select. You can see the handlebars, so you can change it. But I mean, now we just have one handlebar coming out of the point. So I don't think that was quite your question. I just don't think you you can manually go in and add another one. I just don't think Clo is set up for that. Um, but then they also said uh, to get rid of these handlebars, instead of hitting the letter C right next to its letter V, which is the keyboard shortcut to edit curve point. If I were to change this curve using V instead of C, um, it gets rid of the handlebars. It just like deleted them. So I'll hit Z again for selection. You can see there's no handlebars. Um, I was playing around with this and I went back to C. I'm like, can I get the handlebars to come back on a curve line? And I was noticing they weren't coming back, which I thought was kind of weird, like once you hit the V. But if it's a straight line and you're on C, which I am not, let's go to C, click C. Um, oops, there's my timer, I gotta go. Um, let's see if that, that brought the handlebars back. So it's kind of weird, like once you use the letter V tool, um, it's kind of like that segment's ruined forever and no handlebars are allowed. It's kind of weird. I, I have really struggled a lot with the curve tools, um, cause I love handlebars too from Illustrator as well. So I mean, my go-to is the smooth curve. I do really like that. And then when I'm drafting a new pattern, um, you know, I totally take advantage of like the, sorry, let me click it again, of the clicking and dragging to get handlebars out. So that's kind of how I use them. Hopefully that new info from Clo helps you as well. And yeah, it's just, it's not quite Illustrator. So it doesn't have that extra feature of like going in and deleting one of the handlebars, you know? Although maybe if I hit the letter Z, I can probably click and, you know, I guess you can delete it. Can I pull it out? Uh, yeah, it's not really letting me pull. I wouldn't know how to pull it out, honestly. I think for me to pull it out, again, I would have to go do the smooth curve tool, go click, click, highlight the corner, and then uh, change this line to like a similar shape and then I'll get both handlebars I think did that work well I guess they're going this way now there's not like a point up there it's tough <laughs> it's not like the perfect vector based program but it's still awesome software so we do what we can if you figured out another way to get more control of the handlebars and like say like this anchor point be able to pull out another one do share definitely looking for tips here to grow with Chloe, but that's the feedback I got.